Let me walk you through three ways you can start building more trust with potential students and parents so that you can actually grow your business online and be seen as the go-to tutor. So in a crowded marketplace, the parents and the students, they are going to pay the tutors that they trust the most. They are not going to pay you based on your expertise. Okay, most tutors fall into this trap where because I'm an amazing teacher, because I've got all these years of experience, that means that surely I'm going to be able to grow my business fast. You could not be further than the truth. So there's three things that you need to be doing to build more trust. Because if people trust you, they will work with you right now obviously when you get a referral someone comes through word of mouth the trust is already there but you can't build a business based on referrals and word of mouth otherwise your business isn't going to get much oxygen because new students are just like oxygen for your business like oxygen for your body you need to breathe it in consistently and you aren't getting referrals and word of mouth students consistently so you need to build more trust in the marketplace here's three ways you can do that one you need to be using video just like this, so that you can get your message across so that parents and students start to see you as the expert. Because basically, no tutors are using it. Okay, then you can communicate with them and you're already building a rapport before they even speak with you and you're positioning yourself as that expert. So that's the first thing. Second thing, you need to form a community. So you need some sort of group. You can use Facebook, you can use groups, somewhere that you can consistently market and nurture the leads or the community and the audience that you're building. Okay, so you need to build your own group. And then inside of that group, one of the things that you can do is deliver a weekly live lesson. So each week, you can share something around your expertise and knowledge and actually teach the students and the parents what they need to be doing to get results. And at the end of that lesson, you can then extend an invitation for them to come and work with you and get more help. Okay, that way, the longer that you keep doing it, and obviously the key is consistency, it doesn't mean just go and do it once and it's gonna be great and off you go. You're gonna need to do it week after week after week. If you do that, that's the key to grow your teaching business online and get more students and build the trust that you need to in a crowded marketplace. Now look, if you'd like our help at The Teacher Project, implementing this into your teaching business where we can literally walk you by the hand, show you exactly what to do, check us out www.theteacherproject.com and you can see how we can help you today. Speak soon.